Okay, so hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So this time we are going to solve problem, an easy problem, regard or oh, involving uh, wavelengths frequency to that of an electromagnetic wave. So the problem we have is calculate the wavelength, calculate the wavelength of an electromagnetic wave with a frequency of five times ten to the fourteen hertz. So frequency of 5 times 10 to the 14 hertz meaning cycle per second so cycle per second is having the unit of hertz okay so for us to solve the problem we have to identify what is or what are being given so the given is uh, the frequency so the given is you have the frequency Frequency is equal to 5 times 10 raised to the power of 14 hertz. Or oh, hertz is the unit cycle per uh, second. So cycle meaning how many waves there are in within one second. So that is given. So what is required? Required is the wavelength. So wavelength is given the symbol of like that inverted V. This one inverted B. This one inverted B is... Uh, lambda greek alphabet which is lambda so what you are going also in order for us to solve the required which is the wavelength you are to use the equation you are to use this equation uh this one uh we have speed of any am wave is equal to the wavelength of that electromagnetic wave multiplied by the frequency of that same uh, AM wave. So in this case, it is not given what kind of electromagnetic wave. But if you are to uh, refer it to the frequencies of different AM waves with the wavelength given, you can identify which word does this wavelength belongs. Okay, so so this is generic uh, not specifying the certain or the the real electromagnetic wave so this is generic as i said you can uh, you can identify what is this if you are to refer the boundaries of or the regions of the different electromagnetic waves from the radio wave down to the gamma rays which are in decreasing wavelength so meaning it is the radio wave having having the longest wavelength okay so we have uh, so what is given is only the wavelength so you cannot solve that if you are not to assume so you are to assume that the this AM wave travels through a vacuum so if it is traveling to a vacuum you can use the speed of light so it is also as the speed of that particular am wave so you use the value of the speed of light which is equal to 3 times 10 to the power of 8 meters per second so that is the speed of light so this is equal to uh, 300 million meters per second that is the speed of light so using the formula of uh, this one using the formula that uh, speed of light is equal to the wavelength or speed of that particular electromagnetic wave this one is equal to the wavelength multiplied by its frequency that is the wave equation so in order, uh, in order for easy recall, so you have to rewrite the formula, transferring the what is required to the left side, and all of those in the from the right side will be transferred to the left side, and for the left side, transfer it all to the right side. So it you doesn't or you you, you don't change the value, okay? So you are not changing the values of these quantities if you are transferring from the right to the left or vice versa. 
Okay, so so you have now applying your knowledge in algebra or in your mathematics. You have uh, this one. The wavelength is multiplied by the frequency is equal to is equal to the speed of that AM wave. So as I said, since the frequent uh, the wavelength is being asked you are to transfer the multiplier of your wavelength which is your frequency as uh, to the right side which will now become the divisor once it is transferred to the right so being the multiplier of the wavelength becomes now the divisor to that of the right side which is the value of your uh, speed of that AM wave so you have wavelength this one wavelength is equal to 3 times 10 to the power of 8 meter per second this is the speed of light divided by the frequency which is 5 times 10 to the power 14 hertz. So when you say hertz, this is the frequency. It is the unit that is replaced by the word hertz, unit of frequency, is cycle per second. Or the cycle per second, cycle meaning how many waves repeated or being propagated or being produced within one min one second so that is the frequency okay so using your calculator the value of that will be so as we this three times ten to the power of eight is the value of your this is the value of your uh what is this value this is the value of your speed of your aim wave which is being assumed to be the speed of light assuming that it travels through a vacuum so divided by so you have the sign of divide division so you are to divide that velocity the speed of light or speed of that particular em wave divided by the frequency which is given which is equal to 5 times 10 to the 14 power hertz so if you are to divide that the uh, 3 times 10 to the power of 8 meter per second divided by 5 times 10 to the power of 14 hertz you will end up with 6 times 10 to the negative 7 so if you negative 7 so this is very small wavelength okay so if you are to write it uh, in through a decimal so meaning 1 meaning 1 meter is being divided by 10 million times so if you are to divide it 1 meter divided by 10 million times you will end up with point how many zeros you have six zeros and pang, uh, you have seven place is your whole number of your six you make your six into a whole number but take note that this is uh, less than one so you are counting from the left side you are transferring the decimal point going to the right of your six so meaning so you have uh, how many zeros you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 so the decimal is transferred to the right side of your 6 so you have 6 times 10 to the power of negative 7 the unit is in meters so meaning your 1 meter is being divided by 10 million times and six parts of the 10 million times so you have the six million six uh, six parts of that six parts of that one divided by 10 million you will end up with this value so meaning that is a very short amount of wavelength okay so if you have that very small amount of wavelength the frequency is high and uh, uh, just a uh, uh, to touch with other related uh, quantities the higher the frequency the higher the energy okay i hope this is clear and i hope uh, this video helped you understand the topic solving problem about 
uh, wavelength or frequency of a particular electromagnetic wave. Okay, so the key is to use the formula involving the given and what is being asked. Thank you.